Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial on Python's UV package. Imagine you're working on a very complex project and you want to manage dependencies with different version of Python. So this amazing Python package is going to save your time. Watch this video till the end if you want to learn more about it. Now before we move on, just a quick info guys. Simply Learn has got professional certificate course in generative AI and machine learning. In this course, you are going to master future skills with our Gen AI and machine learning course. And in this, you are going to get program certificate from ENICT Academy, IIT Kanpur. There will be master classes delivered by IIT Kanpur faculty. And you're going to get official badges for Microsoft courses if you complete it. This course is in collaboration with Microsoft Azure. So guys, hurry up now and join the course. The course link is mentioned in the description box. So in this video, we are going to cover about what is Python UE's package. Then we are going to discuss about its features. Then we are going to install this given package. And finally, we are going to do a short hands-on demo on this. Now, before we head on to our main tutorial, here is a quiz to check your knowledge. Let's say we have a list X and the elements are one, two, and three. Let's say there is a variable Y which assigns to variable X. And also Y of zero equals to 100. Now, if I say print X, what is going to be the value? So here are your given mentioned options. Please comment your answers in the comment section below. Now, let us get started. So let us first start with understanding what exactly is UV package. So you can understand something like UV is a command line tool which is designed to help Python developers work faster and smarter. So instead of juggling multiple commands from different tools, UV combines them all in one place. Whether we want to install Python versions, run simple scripts or manage big projects. UV is going to make it much more easier for you. If I talk about the key features of UV, then first one, as I've told you, like it can easily manage Python version. Suppose, let's say you want Python version 3.10 for one project and 3.11 for another. No problem. You can install, you can list, switch or pin specific Python version with the help of UV package. Next thing, you can run scripts. If you want to uh, run any script, you could do it with Ace and manage any dependencies also just with the help of this package. You can also create and manage projects. Let's say you are working on bigger projects using modern Python setups. So there you can add dependencies, run code, build packages and even publish them. Then UV package has this amazing thing that is called as developer tools. You could use linters and formatters in clean isolated environments so your main setup stays tidy. Then next one we have packages and environment management. So let's say if you like controlling virtual environments and packages by yourself then UV offers enhanced commands similar to pip or vnv. And finally it has utilities. You can clear caches or update UV and inspect your environment all with simple commands and just with your fingertips. Now, let us first try to install UV. So guys, let's say we created this empty folder. So all over here, open this given folder in the terminal and um, let's zoom it. So what next you have to do is you have to paste this given command. I'll mention this in the description box. So it's PowerShell execution policy bypass and then IRM and this is a given you know, you can official website astral.sh uv install.ps1. So from astral.sh, we are installing this given package. Let's click enter and you could see it has started downloading. Let's wait for a couple of time. Now, let us create uh, a project. So you could start with uv init my project and this command is going to initialize our project. Just click enter. And you could see it has initialized our project, my project. Now also what you could do is you could check the version. Okay, so that's best practice. So let's type and you could see it successfully shows 0.8.8. Now, if you want to build your project, for example, in the case of deployment use, you could type UV build. Okay, since we have not done anything, so I'm not going to use it. If you want to deactivate this virtual environment, what you could type is deactivate. Now let's say you want to create a virtual environment. So what you could do is you could type UV create. 
And if you want to run your projects, what you could do is you could type UE run. Now, let's say you're working on this new backend project and you have installed various projects. To see the list of all the dependencies or all the packages that you have installed, you can type UE list and it is going to show you all the installed packages. Now, let's say you want to sync the dependencies listed in your project. So what you could do is you could type this command UV sync and you can sync the dependencies listed in your ML file. You could also use it in your virtual environment. Now I'm going to show you a small hands-on demo so that you could get much more idea like how you could use this. So guys, I'll be using VS code for the same. So we have navigated to our given project. Now it's time to add the given dependencies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type UV add request and you could see it has started adding the given dependencies. Now let us try to run our project. So you can type UV run and you could see now if you want to run your given project then type UV run main.py. Now since as you can see all over here we have our given file name main.py. So let me type something in this given file and let's retry to run this. So you can say we still have just uh, hello world only hello from my project so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete it all let's start with import request and let's say after that let's say response let's say request let's say we are getting from um, basically something from uh, this uh, dummy uh, api so let's say spa json placeholder so it's going to return some json file for us let's say we want to access the post all over here okay so this is a very dummy api and i've been using it to show uh, like if you i want to return any mock values now after that if i want to check if the request was successful so what i'm going to type is if response dot status okay let's say code equals to 200 okay then after that what i could do all over here then I could create a variable post and I could store and okay so whatever we are getting written I could store it in this post and uh, then let us parse this JSON data so what I'm going to do for this so let's try to print so print let's say first post so after this what I could do is I could use the variable that I have created so let's say post uh, Let's say let access the first post. So I'm going to index it with zero. And let's say I want to also access the title for the same. So go all over here and let's say title. Now you can see all over here, we have completely done it. Now else what we could do is we could go all over here. We could type else command. And after that, if, if it does not parses it, we can say just print and uh, let's format it and after that let's say we could write fail to retrieve data and let's say status code all over here and let's say it's response dot status code so we could type response okay so this is a very sample file guys okay let's uh, make sure everything is correct okay now just save this given file let's also save as size so just save it now guys, let us try to run our project. So type uv run.main.py. Let's see the output. And you could see we are getting an output post title, sont art, fish tree, replet. So it's something related to the API that we are trying to access. I'll also show you what this API exactly is. So if you just follow the given link, so you could see there is user ID, title, and, and we are accessing the first index of this. So this was very small tutorial showing you like how you can use UV package, which is an amazing tool. I hope so guys, you would have enjoyed our today's video. Thank you guys for watching this. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for further updates. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.